The health department has ordered local government units to streamline their pre-vaccination processes. In an interview with the chiefs, spokesperson Maria Rosario Verjera said that for one, the checking of vital signs are no longer safe for specific cases. And the Philippine Heart Association and the Philippine Society of Hypertension had been explaining that you only do this uh, BP monitoring if you have a hypertensive patient who really looks like... Uh, uh, toxic. Those who are having this BP, uh, you know, increasing for 10, 20 na tataas lang dun sa normal niya, hindi mo kailangan niyang paulit-ulitin pang i-BP at i-monitor natin. Verjera hopes that this would hasten the inoculation drives of LGUs. For its part, the National Immunization Technical Advisory Group is encouraging vaccinees to register online if they can. Dr. Maria Consortia Lim Kizan told One News Now that improvements in the vaccine rollout are continuing as we go along. We encourage people to, to um, register online because that will really save a lot of uh, time so that when you go there, all you need to say is, I am Juan de la Cruz, and then all the data that's needed from you is already um, encoded. Kizon also said mayors could come up with their own strategies to administer jabs faster as long as basic protocols are being followed. Meanwhile, vaccine czar Carlito Galvez Jr. allayed fears that the Philippines' AstraZeneca supplies could go to waste as the shots near expiration. Galvez said some 1.5 million doses which are set to expire by June 30 will be administered in mid-June. So, wala tayong problema. Uh, uh, do not worry. Before uh, June 15, matatapos na natin yung 1.5 million na sa Seneca. Kasi sinabihan natin yung mga ating, ano, ating mga uh, vaccination sites na unahin muna yung, ano, yung uh, uh, AstraZeneca vaccines. Inoculation in the country remains to be within health workers, senior citizens, and persons with comorbidities. For News 5, Greg Gregorio, we are One News.